Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, we discover how to generate your innate inner strength through stoicism to successfully navigate modern life. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to improve your well-being. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the constant demands of modern life? The relentless pace, the pressure to succeed, the never-ending stream of notifications? What if I told you that in just one week you could discover an inner strength that helps you stay calm, focused and resilient no matter what life throws at you? This isn't about some quick fix or magic solution. Join me as I challenge myself to apply the powerful principles of stoicism in my everyday life and unlock a level of peace and clarity I never knew I had. We're diving deep into the wisdom of Seneca, Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus to discover how their teachings can transform your life, just like they're transforming mine. Let's do this. One of the most fundamental principles of Stoicism that resonated with me is the idea of focusing on what we can control. This simple yet profound concept can transform the way we approach our daily lives. It's so easy to get caught up in things outside our control, the weather, traffic, the opinions of others, and let them dictate our emotional state. We often find ourselves frustrated, anxious, or even angry because of these external factors. But the Stoics teach us that true freedom comes from recognizing that our power lies in our response. By shifting our focus inward, we can find peace and stability even in the most chaotic situations. Epictetus, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, beautifully articulated this concept with his dichotomy of control. He emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is within our power and what is not. He said, some things are in our control and others not. This simple yet profound statement serves as a guiding principle for navigating life's challenges. Things in our control are opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion, and, in a word, whatever are our own actions. These are the aspects of our lives where we can exert influence and make meaningful changes. Things not in our control are body, property, reputation, command, and in one word, whatever are not our own actions. These are the external factors that we must learn to accept and let go of. When you really internalize this principle, it's incredibly liberating. It allows you to focus your energy on what truly matters and let go of the rest. Imagine you're in a stressful situation, let's say a traffic jam. You can't control the cars in front of you, but you can choose how you react. This is where the power of stoicism comes into play. Will you let it ruin your day or will you focus on what you can control your mindset? By choosing to remain calm and composed, you take control of your emotional state. You can choose to use that time productively, listen to a podcast, learn a new language, or simply practice mindfulness. These small actions can make a significant difference in how you experience the situation. By shifting your focus from what you can't control to what you can, you immediately free yourself from unnecessary stress and reclaim your power. This mindset shift can be applied to various aspects of life, from personal relationships to professional challenges. It's about recognizing that our energy is best spent on what we can directly influence, our thoughts, actions and responses. By doing so, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience. Remember, true freedom lies not in trying to control the uncontrollable, but in mastering our inner world. By embracing this stoic principle, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. So, the next time you find yourself overwhelmed by external circumstances, take a moment to reflect on what you can control. Focus on your response and you'll find a newfound sense of freedom and empowerment. Now, accepting what we can't control doesn't mean we simply resign ourselves to our circumstances. It's about acknowledging reality as it is, without resistance. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wisely said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Resistance to what is only creates unnecessary suffering. Think about it. How often do you find yourself getting worked up over things you have absolutely no power to change? The weather, a delayed flight, a frustrating conversation, we've all been there. But the Stoics teach us that true peace comes from accepting what is rather than fighting against it. It's about recognizing that life is full of uncertainties and instead of trying to control the uncontrollable, we can choose to flow with it. This doesn't mean we become passive or complacent. It's about choosing our battles wisely and focusing our energy on what truly matters. In the same way, when we practice acceptance, we become more resilient, more adaptable, and ultimately more at peace. 
Remember, the only constant in life is change. And by learning to accept this truth, we free ourselves from the shackles of resistance and open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. Now, one of the most powerful practices for cultivating this sense of acceptance and inner peace is mindfulness. Mindfulness is not just a practice, but a way of life that can transform our daily experiences. In our fast-paced world, it's so easy to get caught up in the past or worry about the future, but the Stoics remind us that the only moment we truly have is the present. The hustle and bustle of modern life often distracts us from the beauty of the now. Seneca, the Roman Stoic philosopher and statesman, famously said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient for he that is so wants nothing. His words remind us to find contentment in the present moment. Mindfulness is about bringing our full awareness to the present moment without judgment. It's about being fully present and engaged with whatever we're doing, whether it's a mundane task or a special moment. It's about noticing the sights, sounds, sensations and thoughts around us without getting swept away by them. By doing so, we create a space where we can observe our experiences without being overwhelmed. It's about savoring the simple pleasures in life, a warm cup of tea, a walk in nature, a conversation with a loved one and appreciating the beauty that surrounds us. These small moments, when fully appreciated, can bring immense joy and satisfaction. When we practice mindfulness, we train our minds to become more present, more grounded and less reactive. This practice helps us to respond to situations with clarity and calmness, rather than reacting impulsively. We learn to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, which gives us the space to choose how we respond, rather than reacting automatically. This awareness can lead to more thoughtful and intentional actions. Think of your mind like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. Just as physical exercise strengthens our bodies, mindfulness strengthens our mental resilience and emotional stability. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily life doesn't have to be complicated. It can be seamlessly integrated into your routine, making even the most ordinary activities more meaningful. It can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths before starting your day, paying attention to the sensations of your feet on the ground as you walk, or savoring each bite of your meal. These small practices can have a big impact on your overall well-being. As you become more mindful, you'll notice a profound shift in your relationship with yourself and the world around you. You'll find greater peace clarity and joy in everyday moments leading to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Now life isn't always easy. We all face challenges, setbacks and disappointments. But the Stoics teach us that adversity is not something to be feared, but rather an opportunity for growth. Epictetus said, the greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. Think of a diamond, it's formed under immense pressure. In the same way, our challenges shape us, mold us and help us discover our inner strength. The key is to approach these challenges with the right mindset, a mindset of resilience. Resilience is not about being invincible or immune to hardship. It's about bouncing back from adversity, learning from our experiences and emerging stronger on the other side. It's about embracing the ups and downs of life with courage, knowing that even in the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of hope. When we cultivate resilience, we develop an inner strength that allows us to navigate life's storms with grace and determination. Remember, the obstacle is the way. Chapter 5. Choose your response. One of the most empowering principles of Stoicism is the recognition that we always have a choice in how we respond to any given situation. While we can't control external events, we have complete control over our internal world, our thoughts, emotions and reactions. Epictetus famously said we are disturbed not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens to us. This profound statement highlights the essence of Stoic wisdom. Our suffering often stems not from the event itself, but from our interpretation of it. Think about it. Two people can experience the same event, yet have completely different reactions. One person might see it as a disaster, while the other sees it as an opportunity for growth. The difference lies in their chosen response. The Stoics teach us that between any external event and our response to it, there is a space, a space where we have the power to choose. In that space, we can choose to react with anger, frustration or despair, or we can choose to respond with wisdom, courage and resilience.
The next time you find yourself triggered by a person or situation, take a moment to pause before reacting. Remember, you always have a choice. Chapter 6. Limit Excessive Desires in our consumer-driven society, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of more and more possessions, more status, more experiences. But the Stoics teach us that true happiness and fulfillment come not from external validation, but from inner contentment. Seneca, in his profound wisdom, warned against the dangers of chasing after fleeting pleasures, saying, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. When we attach our happiness to external things, we become slaves to our desires, constantly chasing after the next thing that we believe will finally bring us satisfaction. But the Stoics argue that true contentment arises from appreciating what we have, rather than constantly longing for what we lack. It's about finding joy in the simple things, cultivating gratitude for the present moment, and recognizing that true wealth lies in our inner world, our character, our values, and our relationships. This doesn't mean we can't enjoy the good things in life or strive for success. It's about approaching these pursuits with a healthy detachment, understanding that true happiness is not contingent upon their attainment. Remember, happiness is not about having it all, but about appreciating what you have. Chapter 7. The Value of Gratitude One of the most powerful practices for cultivating inner peace and contentment is gratitude. It is a simple yet profound way to transform our lives and our outlook on the world. In the words of Seneca, there is more to be learned from one bird in the hand than from a thousand in the sky. This ancient wisdom reminds us to cherish what we have right in front of us. Gratitude is about shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have, from what's wrong to what's right, from what's missing to what's present. It is a conscious choice to see the glass as half full rather than half empty. When we practice gratitude, we train our minds to see the good in every situation, to appreciate the small things and to find joy in the everyday moments that we often take for granted. This practice can be as simple as savoring a warm cup of coffee in the morning or taking a peaceful walk in the park. It's about recognizing that even in the midst of challenges, there is always something to be grateful for. Our health, our loved ones, the roof over our heads, the food on our table. These are the blessings that sustain us and give us strength. Gratitude is not about denying the existence of difficulties or pretending that everything is perfect. It is about acknowledging the hardships while still finding reasons to be thankful. It's about choosing to focus on the positive, to appreciate the good and to cultivate a mindset of abundance even when life throws us curveballs. By doing so, we build resilience and a deeper sense of fulfillment. When we approach life with a grateful heart, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We become more open to new experiences, more compassionate towards others and more connected to the world around us. Start by incorporating a simple gratitude practice into your daily routine. This could be writing down three things you're grateful for each day or taking a moment each morning to reflect on your blessings. As you cultivate a habit of gratitude, you'll notice a profound shift in your perspective. Your life will become richer, your relationships deeper and your sense of well-being more pronounced. Embrace the power of gratitude and watch as it transforms your world. Outro your journey to inner strength. Thank you for joining me on this journey to inner strength through Stoicism. Remember, these ancient principles are not just philosophical concepts. They're practical tools that we can use to navigate the challenges of modern life with more resilience, purpose and peace. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.